Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Weekly Energy. And this is for the 7th to the 14th. And this may or may not be a message for you. This may be something that you're working through. This may be a message for something that's to come. All right, we have Nine of Cups, the Wish Card. Great way to start the reading. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Hermit. We have the Moon. We have Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Chariot. I feel like you're letting go of some negative energy. I feel like you're letting go of things that have been bothering you. I feel like... Um, I feel like you're letting go of a burden. Nine of Wands is letting go of a burden. I feel a heavy burden that's on. No, Nine of Wands is hanging in there. That's right. Sorry. But I do feel like, since I wanted to say that, I feel like you're letting go of a burden. I feel like you're letting go of something that's been on your back that's been bothering you. I feel like you're tired. I feel like you've been processing things. I feel like you've been working through things. I feel like you've taken the time out or you need to take the time out to be introspective, to think about things, to process things, to... Um, I know I'm a Capricorn, um, I'm a Capricorn Sun, and I'm a Capricorn Rising, and I have definitely the last couple of weeks been taking that time out to myself and thinking about things and processing things, and sometimes it can be tiring, okay? You gotta hang in there because I feel like you're really working through some things. There's some things that haven't been um, revealed to you yet. Um, it could be that this there was a new moon um, this week. It was on Monday. There was a new moon. So maybe that's the beginning of things happening for you and what you've been waiting for is going to be falling in place. It may be till the next moon cycle that you're able to work through some things. Um, with the sun and the chariot being on the outside, I definitely feel like there is some positive energy that's coming in for you. There's some positive things. Um, there's been some deception in the back in the past. Um, things haven't worked out um, the way that you wanted them to. But I feel like it was a learning lesson for you. I feel like it's something that you need to grow from. I feel like, you know, if there's some things that haven't happened. You know, maybe you don't see the reason for that right now, but I feel like it was a, it was a learning experience. I feel like my personal opinion is that if something goes wrong or it doesn't go the way that you wanted it to, that there was a lesson in there for you to learn. And were your eyes open enough to see that lesson and to pull the information that you need from that? So maybe some there was some sort of, something didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, and you need to think about that, why that happened. Not overthink it, okay? If it's something that's bad happened, don't say, well, you know, I deserved it. Like, don't go in that negative realm. Look at why that happened and grow from that experience, okay? Grow from that situation. Don't let that situation drag you down. Don't let that situation put your mind in a negative spin because I know that that's pretty easy, you know, for me being a Capricorn that I'll just go to the negative and put myself down but that's not what you need to do is you need to learn and you need to grow from that okay you need to have positive you need to focus on positive things happy things okay get back to that happy place where you were you know maybe you haven't been there because you've been hurt from what this happened so this is where you want to go is you want to move forward to the positive place and I just think that's so great that we have the sun card and the chariot card on the outside of this reading. And we started with the nine of cups. So I feel like Capricorn is working through a lot of things. Um, and growing. I feel like this year has been a big growth 
um, year for me and becoming more positive and reaching my goals. Ah, look at that, the fool, new beginnings, okay? That's what I was saying is that there's new beginnings, there's new things heading your way. This is also the yes card, so yes, move forward. Yes, process these things. Yes, learn from these things that don't work out the way that you thought that they should. Don't let them drag you down, okay? Page of Swords. All right. Um, there's some delayed no news. There's some delayed things that are coming in, but I feel like that's because you still have more things that you need to process. You still have some more things that you need to work work through because I feel like since this is on the edge outside, which is being happy and positive and moving forward, but I feel like since this is on the inside and since the hermit is above the seven of swords, I do feel like there's something recent that happened or there's something that you still need to work through. You need to hang in there. Nine, um, the nine of wands is just pulling those final reserves and keeping you know, your strength up and keep moving forward to get to this happy place, okay? And then with the nine of cups above the moon, I feel like it's saying that you know, this moon cycle is, I feel, going to bring a lot of happy changes and push you in the direction where you want to be. Or it could be that, you know, till the next moon cycle that this is, you know, that's the time span that you need to work on this in order to reach this. So um, that's why I feel like that's, it's, it's delayed. All right, let me see if there's maybe, what? That one flipped over. So we have the Queen of Swords. It could be something that you're dealing with with a Queen of Swords, but I feel like the Queen of Swords is saying um, to stay strong, to push through, to fight through this this right here because this is what's waiting for you. Okay. Um, let me see. What else do I want to pull? Let's do a fortune reading. I'm trying to look at my other cards and see which ones I want to use. I don't use the same ones for every sign. I just kind of go with how that sign is going and then see what cards I want to pull. All right, we have lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So I feel like this is representative of the reading is there's two paths ahead. Are you going to grow from this situation and try and get learn a lesson from this or, or are you just going to put yourself into a negative spin and um, repeat this lesson again. I feel like that things keep happening until you can finally learn the lesson from it so that you can not make that mistake or not fall into that trap or not let that happen again. You know, or if it does happen, you're not stuck in it um, for a long time like you were last time. Like you, like you know, okay, well, this is what happened. I fell into that trap. Next time, I'm not going to let it happen. <laughs> like I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm not going to let it get to me um, because that's negative energy. I feel like I want to pull something else. For some reason, I keep thinking, I keep looking at this deck. So let's do an angel answers. So if you have any questions, a question out there that you want to form, or we're just going to pull or see if anyone wants to pop out. I kind of feel like this one. Remain positive. All right. Excellent. Remain positive. And that's what you need to do, is you need to stay in that positive space. You need to not let your head get into a negative space, okay? You need to remain positive. You need to keep pushing forward. You need to hang in there. Um, There's some things that you need to work on. Hang in there. You're moving forward in a positive way, okay? There's positive energy that wants to come in and that you need to soak up, all right? There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.